Hello YouTube, it's Shane here. This video is part of a multi-part series I'm doing on how to build your own home automation controller. So if you haven't started already from the top, I would suggest you click the link in the description or the annotation right now on the screen to go to that playlist and work your way down. Okay guys, so to install Raspbian, we're just gonna head over to Google and type in Raspbian, hit enter, and then we're gonna go straight to the downloads page. And then we're gonna go to Raspbian and we're going to download the light, the Raspbian Jesse light. Hit download zip and it's going to start downloading. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, the download's finished. So once the download's finished, you're going to click here on our installation guide. Boom. And then over here, you can choose the operating system. We're going to use Mac. And uh, then you're going to have to basically insert your SD card into your computer, so I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so my SD card is inserted into my computer. Okay, so once the download's done, what you're going to need to do is open up your downloads folder or wherever it downloaded and double click on it. And uh, it's going to then start extracting. And once that is done, okay, there we go. So it has finished extracting. And uh, we end up with this image. Okay, so now I'm going to bring up terminal. And I'm going to go CD downloads and hit enter that's where my things located and hit ls which will then list the files and so because we've extracted it you can see this is the name of the and then what i'm going to do is i'm gonna open disk utility disk utility and uh, you can see here yeah, it says under the main one it will say disk 2 so i'm going to go back well so i'm going to first copy this copy this this part of it just the beginning part and then open up terminal um, and paste it in. And then the next part, which is where the image is, just gonna copy that. So copy, paste. And then it says, yeah, it says OF device R disk. I'm gonna go all the way up until, until the N, because I know the N is gonna be two in my case. It might be different in yours. So let's just make this bigger. So space, paste, two, hit enter. It's going to ask me for my password, put my password in, and resource busy. So you might get that error, which basically just means we need to go to disk utility, and uh, we need to unmount it. Okay, so now that it's unmounted, whoops, we should be able to run that command. Okay, so now it's running. This is going to take a really long time. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like once it is done, okay? And then basically just open Disk Utility up again and uh, just say eject. And that should be it. Once it's disappeared, you can take the SD card out and uh, put it in the pie. Also, if you have any problems, just refer back to this page. It's actually very useful. They've got a lot of troubleshooting and, and alternative methods of how to do it. So if you run into problems, just go there. So let's have a head. let's head over to the pie. Okay, so the first thing you can do is put an SD card in. The next thing you want to do is plug it in the keyboard. I'm using a cheap USB keyboard, so let's plug that in. Then you're going to plug in your Ethernet. You're going to plug in your HDMI cable to your monitor. And then lastly, your power. And as soon as the power is plugged in, it will boot up. Okay, this is what you'll see on your screen when you turn the Pi on. Um, I've fast forwarded this so we don't have to wait. Okay, so this is what it looks like once the Pi has turned on. And the username is PI, so just type that in, PI. And the password, the password is Raspberry. So that's R-A-S-P-B-E-R-Y. Hit enter, and there we go, now you're logged in. So what you can do is you can type in uh, if con config and uh, it should come up on the screen with your IP addresses. In my case, it is 10.133.0.190. So let's go back onto the computer. Okay, guys, so this is where we left off on the terminal. Okay, so we can do is type in ssh pi at 10.133.0.190. In my case, this is definitely going to be different in yours. And then the password, which is rasp. Berry. Okay, this is what it looks like once you've logged in. So then we're going to do is we're going to type in sudo rasp, rasp 
config. And we're going to get this. And so basically, first thing we need to do is expand the file system. We just basically hit enter. There we go. Then we need to change the user password. So now you're putting your new password. So obviously, the default password is Raspberry. So we're going to make this something um, secure. Well, you should do the same. I'm not going to tell you what my password is, but you can make yours whatever you want it to be. Okay. So you put it in twice, and you get successfully changed. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way to advanced options and we're going to go to uh, SBI and we're going to turn that on so hit enter, hit yes, hit ok, hit yes, hit ok and then we're also going to go back to advanced, we're going to enable I2C yes, 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 ok and I think that is all of it, that is all of it uh, memory split, we can actually change this because we're not going to be running any graphics and I want the GPU to have zero. And that is it. So we hit finish and we said, would you like to reboot now? And you're going to say yes. It'll be rebooting as you can see on your monitor. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, if you liked the video, please thumbs it up. And if you didn't, thumbs it down. Please comment and subscribe. Um, you can also continue to watch this playlist. The link is in the description if you're not watching on the playlist. Uh, and see the next video on how to install Screen. Anyways, hope you enjoy.